Good afternoon, traders. This is Tony D from the Easy Markets Dealing Room in Sydney. Uh, we've got a little update to you on the on the madness that was yesterday. Uh, Post CPI trading was extreme. Uh, you got a lot of US dollar strength in the first five minutes. This is uh, coupled with a lot of US Dow selling. Um, market was spooked that the high inflation number that came out 0.5 percent versus 0.2 percent uh, forecast was going to cause uh, the market to expect more. Uh, more Fed rate hikes, more volatility, because uh, generally the, the big sell-off uh, in the last couple of weeks was caused by the NFP wages. So the, the volatility did spike higher, but there was no follow-through. And uh, the US dollar strength, there's also no follow-through. You saw a major, major reversal, um, aggressive, aggressive selling on every pair on the US dollar. Uh, and the stock market went berserk to the top side. So the, the real situation here is that um, the, the downside sellers have, have sort of lost the battle. And the US uh, dollar buyers have sort of lost the battle uh, and it's very unlikely they can stage a, a major comeback here uh, given that the big event was yesterday and even though it was really you know data that should have helped the US dollar uh, and spooked the stock market both survived uh, in fact thrived so the uh, euro is looking really strong um, so is the pound back above 140 and uh, if you're looking at the uh, at the gold market you can see here one of the largest uh, rallies we've had uh, daily rallies in all oh, in the last six months um, up around uh, 35 dollars from the lows so everything's looking very very like it's moving coordinated together um, and very little reason to to suggest that we will go back down now that you've seen it survive uh, in terms of the u.s yields that everyone was worried were going to spike high they did spike high and they remained high um, but somehow the u.s dollar was unable to capitalize on this including the dollar yen uh, and also the um, stock market shrugged this off so it is unlikely that the high interest rates today are going to cause the a delayed reaction uh, but it is something to keep an eye on um, not at 2.9 but at 3 if it gets to 3% that's supposed to be the boogeyman number and uh, that could cause a, a stall here in the stock market ascent um, but in the short term you're looking at the stock market first targeting those previous bounce highs so get uh, back up around the 25 uh, 200 level uh, is the short term target. Above that, start to get a little bit more aggressive in how far we can get to. There is very easy ways it can get back to those previous highs. Um, and sellers in general, uh, or those looking for tops in the market, like to see double tops. And that generally, uh, well, it does happen a lot. Yeah, the market has a big sell off, retest the double top. If that proves too much, then the next sell can be a much bigger correction. Uh, in, the, in the short term, but it looks so far that the 200 day moving average has held and uh, we are on the way back up uh, For those of you who are trading Bitcoin, you can see uh, Bitcoin has uh, had a tremendous uh, day breaking out of the downtrend line um, So the first time that we've seen the market sort of break that uh, that more serious medium term uh, downtrend that we've been in and so those who have been waiting for this sort of price action uh, you should be excited by this because this is um, sort of what you've been waiting for uh, for a while now a bit more clearer on the 4 hour uh, but basically the the downward trend line has been broken to the tops to the top side now so we, those of you who are looking for that that chance uh, for the um, for, for price action which supports the fact that we might be going back above 10,000 that's it it's happening right now yeah so it's a very interesting uh, market at the moment looking uh, for the US dollar weakness to continue those of you who missed uh, out on uh, taking advantage of this just look, look for pullbacks at this moment it's a little overbought in the short term um, but uh, it looks like the market has chosen direction so you should be very wary uh, if you start to buy the US dollar uh, in the next little bit all right, guys, if you do want to have a, a deeper discussion about what's going on in the market, uh, do call through if you're a client of ours. If you're not, then you can uh, join up below and get a dealer assigned to your, to your account like myself, and we can assist you uh, with the market updates uh, over the phone. Also, uh, help you do trading over the phone if you'd like, um, if you're out and about. And uh, if you do need to double check some of the, uh, the crosses as well as uh, some of the more unusual pairs out there, uh, you can call through and we can discuss some of those as well.